Hi everyone, in this video I will be discussing about the concept and definition of culture. Now let me first ask you this question. What comes to your mind whenever you hear the word culture? Is it nationalities? Is it the different ethnic groups? Is it the cultural artifacts? Is it religious rituals and activities? Is it how the youngsters treat the seniors? Is it the technology? Or is it simply a group of people connecting with each other? Chances are, if you answered one of those examples, you might have actually provided with the right example of a culture. But then, how culture is actually defined? If everything was right, it actually shows how complex and complicated a culture is. Culture has been defined in so many ways over the centuries. Scholars in the past defined culture from the learned capabilities and habits to social heredity, from a descriptive rules, meanings, and behaviors to simply the shared way of life of a group of people. An Indonesian scholar, Kunchara Ningrat, has once defined culture or kebudayaan as all the human ideas and creations that are conditioned through the process of learning along with all the outcomes of the thinking processes and its creative products. While Matsumoto and Huang has developed a working definition of human culture as a unique meaning and information system shared by a group and transmitted across generations that allows the group to meet basic needs of survival, pursue happiness and well-being, and derive meaning from life. Culture is not a uniquely human product. Many animals are also social beings as they communicate with each other, work and live in groups with clear social networks and hierarchies, and even invent and use tools. However, there are three characteristics that differentiate human cultures from animals, which include complexity, differentiation, and institutionalization. For example, each of us can be a member of multiple groups that each has its own goals and networking system. Each group serves as a separate entity of cultural institution that is different from another group with its own rules and diversity, and by being members of multiple groups, it requires us to adapt in the complex social systems and networks. In the daily discourse, many of us tend to use the word culture and society interchangeably. However, the two words actually have different meanings. Society is defined as a system of interrelationship among people. That is the fact that individuals interact and create relationships with each other, where individuals can have relationships with multiple groups, and the groups can have interrelationships with the other groups. In sum, the term society refers to the relationship among members of a social group, while culture refers to the meanings and information shared and transferred within the, the social networks. Culture is what defines the meaning of a particular social group, that is, Every social group or social network will be assigned different meaning. For example, the culture of a group of family members will be different from the culture of a group of school peers because the two social groups have different meanings as well as different shared rules and information among the groups. Even if both groups may consist of the same number of people and that members of both groups are interacting with each other. Consistent with this definition, Kunchara Ningrat has classified three forms of culture, which include culture as complex ideas, thoughts, values, norms, rules, and others. Culture as complex patterns of human behavior in the society, 
and culture as the artifacts of human products. Basically, the contents of culture can be roughly classified into the objective and subjective elements. The objective elements involve anything that is objective and explicit elements that are physical. This include the cultural artifacts and tools such as the architectures, clothes, foods, arts, and even technology use such as television, as well as other types of mass media and social media in today's world. The advancement of the technology has determined and influenced the change of the culture over the course of the human history. The subjective elements, on the other hand, include anything that are not physical, such as the psychological processes such as attitudes, values, beliefs, as well as behaviors. Values are the guiding principles that refer to the desirable goals that motivate the behaviors of the cultural group members, which define the moral, socio-economic, even spiritual aspects of a person or group of people. Values are abstract ideas about what are good and desirable in each culture. Examples of values include the idea of individualism versus collectivism, power distance, hierarchy, egalitarianism, harmony, and others. Beliefs are propositions that are regarded as true in each culture. Beliefs have been studied under the concept of social axioms, which are the general beliefs and premises about oneself, the social and physical environment, and the spiritual world. Beliefs refer to the concept about relationship between two entities and individuals use this to guide their behaviors in everyday life. Norms are the generally accepted standard or behavior for any cultural groups. Norms define what is appropriate in any given situation, which include rules, both in daily life interactions, such as the way one should dress, and those that are related to social rituals, such as behaviors in a wedding ceremony, that are different from culture to culture. Attitudes are evaluations of things occurring in ongoing thoughts about the things or stored in memory. Culture influences how people see and make judgments about various things in life. It serves as a filter and at the same time a means to foster attitudes, whether a particular attitude is acceptable in one culture or not, and whether it should be maintained or modified. The cultural worldviews are the culturally specific belief systems about the world which contain attitudes, beliefs, opinions, and values about the world. For example, individuals with high individualistic cultural worldview would believe that they are in full control of their own life and that they see themselves as unique, separate individuals. This belief will then affect how these individuals behave and make judgments about their physical and social realities, including how they interact with others. So now, how does culture affect behavior? Humans learn about their cultures from birth through the process of enculturation. Through enculturation, cultural values are transmitted from generation to generation. And this gradually shapes and molds individual psychological characteristics, including how individuals perceive their worlds, think about the reason about people's behaviors, have and express emotions, and interact with others. However, it is also crucial to understand that culture is not the only one that affects mental processes and behaviors. As illustrated by Matsumoto and Huang, 
human minds and behaviors are influenced by both individual factors and situational factors, although most of the situational factors derive from the cultural aspects. Additionally, we must also understand that first, the system is not static or unidirectional. For example, the ecological factors such as climate change over time, which would also change the ways of living that include the use of different technology from time to time. Culture is also subject to change based on the situational context as well as different needs and goals held by each of the social groups. That being said, the relationship between culture and human behavior is not a one-way street. Instead, it is a reciprocal and dynamic relationship. Okay, so that's all for me. I'll see you again in other videos.